Hi, this is Jonathan from Barn2. In this video, I'm going to show you two ways you can temporarily hide your WooCommerce store, or parts of it, from public view. Now, there are many reasons why you might want to temporarily hide your store, product shortages, sickness, or a holiday, and instead of just deactivating the WooCommerce plugin itself, which can cause problems, a better way is to use a plugin that does all the work for you to hide all the links to your shop pages and avoids having to edit any content or change any menus. Now, there are two really good plugins for doing this, WooCommerce Private Store and WooCommerce Protected Categories both available from Barn2, and you'll find links to download them in the description below. Which one to use depends on what you want to do. If you want to temporarily disable your entire WooCommerce store, then the plugin you need is WooCommerce Private Store. However, if you want to just hide specific categories on your store, then you need the WooCommerce Protected Categories plugin. Let's start by looking at the first option, using the WooCommerce Private Store plugin to hide your entire store. So having downloaded the plugin, and there's a link in the description below, just install the plugin in the normal way by going to Plugins, Add New, choose the zip you downloaded, upload it, activate, and then find the new plugin in Plugins and click Settings. And here, you just need to enter your license key Activate and we're good to go. Now, once you activate the plugin, you'll restrict your store from public view. So, the plugin will automatically hide all links to WooCommerce pages. So, that means the menu links to the shop pages, products, categories, cart, and checkout. Anyone trying to access these pages directly because they've previously saved a URL will have to enter a password, like here. But general visitors won't now see the links at all. In the plugin settings, we have options to set up multiple passwords to gain access to the store. And with the logged in users option here, I can show the store to specific roles, for example, administrators, whilst hiding it from the general public. This can be really useful for administrators and store managers to work on the store while it is hidden from the public. And we can customize the wording of the login form. So, for example, in the message here, we might want to explain why the store is unavailable and requiring a password. And after making any changes, you need to save them at the bottom of the page. So, that's a really neat option if you want to hide your complete store and only make it available to those with a password. The second option is when you only want to hide specific parts or categories of your WooCommerce store. In this instance, it's best to use the WooCommerce Protected Categories plugin from Barn2. With this plugin, it's easy to hide one or more of your categories within your online store, and therefore the products within those categories. And this can be very handy, for example, enabling you to temporarily hide seasonal products, like at Christmas, and then make the category visible again in time for next Christmas. And you can hide them in three ways. Password protect them, make them available to specific user roles or to specific users. So, that's been a look at two ways to hide your WooCommerce store or parts of your store from public view. You'll find links to both the plugins in the description below, and more information can be found on the barn2.com website. Thanks for watching.